Welcome to GoGrid's product demonstration, how to deploy a GoGrid cloud server. Before we begin, let me tell you just a little bit about GoGrid. GoGrid's cloud hosting platform provides automated provisioning of infrastructure over the internet. It also provides instant access to highly available multi-server environments. So what does automated provisioning over the internet mean? Well, that means you can deploy and scale virtual and physical servers, storage, networking, load balancing, and firewalls in real time across multiple data centers using GoGrid's web-based management console or API. And instant access that means you can access and operate it using standard networking protocols and IP addresses. There's no new technical skills or specialized equipment needed to use GoGrid. Now let's talk a little bit about GoGrid cloud servers. There are a lot of features associated with GoGrid cloud servers. There's an image library with a complete selection of Windows and Linux server images. There's an API which allows users to programmatically control the infrastructure. There's persistent on-the-box storage and block IP allocation. There's a variety of database options like SQL, MySQL, and also big data options. And you can also do multi data center provisioning. That means that you can deploy a GoGrid cloud server in the data center of your choice. Okay, so let's launch a server. To start, click the add button. Next, we'll select the data center that we want to deploy in. For this demonstration, we'll choose US West 1. Then select cloud server. This will bring up our image selection widget. We'll go ahead and select the server image that we want to deploy. In this case, we're going to deploy a CentOS 64-bit image. Once selected, you have to configure your server. So, and this is where we enter the details. You're going to enter the server name, enter the description of your server, select the IP address for the server, select the amount of RAM for the server, and then save. Hover your mouse over the server to get more information. This brings up the basic details about the server. You'll notice the status light is yellow. This is because the server is not yet finished building. To get more information on what's happening with this job, select the Jobs tab. Here you'll see a list of things that are happening related to the server. If you click on the plus sign, you'll notice all of the details related to the job. Clicking on the list tab will take you to a different view of your infrastructure. Go back to the grid tab and you'll notice the yellow light will turn green when the server is available. but you still need to access your server. So you'll need to get the password. Select the support link to see the cloud server password. And that's it. You've now launched a server and you have everything you need to access it. And please check out gogrid.com for more.